Just going to give you my predictions for this weekend's UFC event, UFC 126 in Las Vegas. Um, first off, what a fantastic night of fights we're putting on this weekend. The card is absolutely amazing. All three of the featured fights are good enough to be a main event. Um, main event, Anderson Silva versus Vitor Belfort, a fight everyone is eagerly anticipating. Um, I think, to be honest, um, you know, it's bit, I think it's become a bit of a cliche at the moment. Early in the first round, Vito's dangerous. Um, but, you know, I go with Anderson for a number of reasons. But the first and foremost, the primary reason being that he's been champion a long time and, you know, to do that and, and retain the belt for so long, you know, takes us, you know, a special fighter, a special guy, you know, and uh, is Vito the guy to take it from him? Maybe he is, maybe he is, but uh, I think Anderson's proved time and time again that, he, you know, he, he's a true champion. I mean, look at him in his last fight, you know, he went through five rounds of that adversity but came out strong and finished the guy with a submission in the end, you know, with an injury going into the fight. So, uh, um, you know, I think people need to give Anderson more credit. Um, so yeah, so my prediction for this fight is uh, Anderson Silva, and I'm going to go TKO in the third. Next fight, Rich Franklin versus Forrest Griffin. Uh, another, again, another exciting fight. Um, Forrest coming off a long layoff, Franklin coming off a long layoff, um, but uh, Franklin coming off better form recently. Um, he's looked great since he's gone up to light everywhere. Um, both got similar styles here, to be honest. They're both, but the stand up is, isn't, you know, I mean, far be it from me to criticise two fantastic fighters. I'm not criticising, but the, sta the, the stand up style is, you know, somewhat. Um, um, you know, it's, it's a wild stand-up style, they throw wild looping punches, neither of them are crisp, accurate strikers, but they are very effective in what they do, so it's not a criticism at all, I'm saying they've got similar styles, the way they brawl, um, and I've got to lean to Rich Franklin on this one, you know, I hope Forrest uh, can get back to his uh, previous form and I wish him all the best, um, but if I had to pick a winner, which I am doing, I would go with Forrest, uh, sorry, Rich Franklin by a decision though. I think Franklin will pick up a decision. That said, you can never count Forrest out. And the last featured fight, John Jones versus Ryan Bader. This is a, a very interesting fight. Two hot prospects, you know, Bader's undefeated, John Jones is pretty much undefeated and not only is he undefeated, he's just absolutely blitzed through everybody on his way to, uh, you know, reaching the status that he has. So. Um, it's a difficult one to pick, and I know everyone's picking John Jones, um, but I think Ryan Bader could pull it out of the bag here. I mean, Ryan Bader's looked absolutely fantastic, as has John Jones, to be honest. I think this fight is one of those, you know, I could toss a coin, really, you know. I can't really give a prediction because I, I don't think who, I don't know who's going to win it, you know, so uh, heads Ryan Bader. Tails, John Jones. <laughs> we'll go with John Jones. Um, and that's about it. They're, they're the three main fights and they're, they're my piece for this weekend.